<laughs> this is the night for just saying weird things, I think. Um, I feel as though around my feet here, I have a little three-legged dog. Little three-legged dog running around my feet. Um, I know that it's a small dog. Uh, it was not born with three legs. I feel as though something's been taken from it. Um, and it's um, maybe a little, it's a light in colour. Does anyone know? Anyone have this? Otherwise, I'm going to send the little dog back and get the people. <laughs> it is, it's the night for saying really weird stuff. So, um, we don't have anyone here that had a little dog, has three legs, had one taken off. No? Okay, let me see. Let me see if I'm getting this correct. <laughs> I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to say it because I feel as though as it runs around, skips around my feet here, it either has not one leg or it carries one leg tucked up and doesn't use it. Still nobody wants this little dog? Anyone want to take the hot dog home? No? Okay. I just leave him. I just let it. Seriously, it's running around my feet here as I'm as I'm chatting. So um, I'll just let him be. I know it's a boy, and uh, I'll focus again and see who can come forward. Okay. All right. I feel like I have a gentleman here. Quite a. Um, a, a, a large gentleman, a very um, lovely man, goes without saying, they're all lovely, but I just feel as though a very beautiful man. He might have lived in the home with his wife, obviously, and but his daughter as well. And so I feel as though his daughter lives in the house for a, for a while here and looks after him. Um, he has a feeling of cancer in his body um, and I know also that there's for a period of time there was a, um, a worry of dying, a fear of dying, but I know the daughter knows better. So I want to I wanna say to my daughter, and I feel my daughter's in the audience, that she knew better. She knew where I was going, she knew what to say. There's also a feeling of kind of an English connection here as well, so um, he might have um, come from England. I've uh, been born in England, live here in Australia, but come from England. Um, come on. And uh, perhaps even at some stage, he might have um, had a uniform in his younger years or, or wore a uniform in his younger years. Does this make sense to anybody here? No, gentleman, English, or an English connection? No, no, no. Okay, let me see if I can find more about him. I know that I... Well, let me see. Is somebody talking? Is somebody yakking up there? I'm two. <laughs> yeah, I'm just come and have a seat. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, I just I've never met my grandfather, but yep. it sounds like my grandfather. Mm -hmm. I was told he was from Ireland, but he came, I found out he came from England instead. Yep. So I don't know. Yeah. He could have been his family. Uh, did um did, did he live with his wife, but his daughter also lives in the home looking after him? I'm not quite sure that. Don't my, know about that. My mother was a one night stand. <laughs> your your mother was what a one night stand? <laughs> I think, well, I was in the war. Okay. And um yeah, they sort of got together, and but I knew he had another family, but I don't know if that. Okay, all right, that's, that's a little tricky to try and place him, but I'll tell you what I do have with this gentleman. I have um, the gentleman come forward here. I know that um, he lived in the house with a wife and a daughter, and I know that the daughter might have lived 
you know, with him when she was in her 30s or 40s, you know, um, grown up as well. Um, I know that I can see him in his uniform because he puts his uniform on for me. Um, and, but there's a sense of being a little bit um, cheeky. There's, um, if this was your grandfather, you would know stories of him that were a little outrageous. Is that true? because he gives me kind of a very cheeky, outrageous feeling as well. Um, does someone um, is, is doing family tree, or you're doing family tree, good, um, because he shows me somebody researching family tree. Um, so I know that um, it would be your grandfather that comes forward, and, and with the bit of information you know about him, he, he brings that. He shows me the family tree, and I know that doing the family tree, you have a desire to be going overseas somewhere as well. Is that right? Uh, because, and it's to England or somewhere like that that you're looking to go. There's a whole branch of the family there that you don't know about or you haven't met. And it makes me aware of this. And, and I feel as though when you get to England, your whole world opens up as if, um, God, I don't know. Um, everything around you becomes really clear. In fact, he makes me aware that things about yourself become very clear. Uh, because here, uh, no, what? No, I'm not going to say that. Um, I'll say it. Um, because here in this family, you kind of feel like the misfit. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, when you get to the other people there, everything will make sense. And I know that in researching this family tree is super, super important for you. Um, so, you know, keep doing it. Make sure you um, do get to meet these people. There's somebody over there, like a grandmother over there, who used to read tea leaves. Do you know about her? That was, yeah, my grandma, my mum's one. Okay, um, because there's a grandmother that's just come forward here. She's popped a cup in my hand uh, and she's showing me tea leaves. As if, uh, and people used to come to see her for this as well. Uh, and uh, she looks at the tea leaves. She makes me aware that she did more than just read tea leaves, but tea leaves was kind of like the cover up. Yeah. Does that make sense? So come on over, I'll read your tea leaves. But really, what she's doing is so much more than that. Um, and she wants me to know that, okay that um, there's a sense that you do a lot of this as well. So you do a lot of this kind of work, you're in this kind of vein, uh, but sometimes you try and cover it up with something else. Almost as if, uh, almost as if um, this is the work here and I'm just kind of, I'm standing here, just not stepping completely. So I just want to let you know that um, there's, there's, a, there's a deeper, um, level or, or more of a jump that you can do and I feel like this uh, these family members are coming forward just to uh, let me be aware of this this grandmother you knew her is that correct because she doesn't feel distant like the grandfather she feels as though you, you knew her um, and was there a time here where you uh, were little and you either lived very very close or you lived with her yeah, uh, we live very close to her. Okay, because she gives me the feeling that she sees you all the time when you're little like this. Um, and then was there a period where you moved into a different state or a long way away from her? We moved overseas. Overseas is a long way. Um, so, and then she feels as though I miss you at that period. Do you know what I mean? I, I grew up with you here as, as if I had constant contact. And then there's a feeling of you going away, being away from me here. Um, I want to let you know that she's um, a strong energy around you. She's a strong um, push forward for you. She's a strong guiding influence in your life. And if you connect to her, um, okay. If you listen to her, she says, uh, because I feel as though you get a lot of information or a lot of signs or a lot of pushes, uh, but maybe don't pay attention to all of them. But I just feel like if she says, if you listen to her, she would get you where you want to be a lot faster. Because I know you know where you want to be. Yeah. Just she can get you there much, much quicker. If you maybe blend with her energy and use her awareness and use her knowledge as well. Um, 
okay, I don't know what you're doing now. Hold on a second. <laughs> something like um oh what like uh pictures that she